Hey everyone, sorry about the background mess you see here. I'm working on a really big project my husband asked me to do because we saw something on, on one of our shows, so I decided to try and make it. Um, but anywho, here's a tag. Um, and this was printed out, I think, at paperwhimsy.com. I can't remember, I printed this out last year and I had it in my stash. Um, but it's a tag. And it has a butterfly which I stickled and I distressed it with vintage photo. And I have I bought this stamp last week for in the dollar bin. It's really cool. And I just stamped the background a little bit. And then I used my white gel pen to add more dimension to it. And then I used this adore sticker um, embellishment. Some lace. And then in the background here is um music sheet paper from Tim Holtz that I use from the ideology collection and down there and then some lace and then a, a flower <laughs> Ooh, excuse me sorry um, a friend a flower that my friend gave me um, I distressed this one get down cat and then I just put my information on here so there's that one just some ATCs as well it says blossom um, some leftover of the Tim Holtz paper, Prima Flower, my leftover ribbon, um, the trim rose with the pearls, um, leftover, and then some butterflies, and then I snuck a rabbit under there. Another ATC I put Wisdom. Some flowers, and then I added these fabric uh, green parts to the back, because I ripped them off other flowers. And just some ATCs that I did and then I made tons of Dahlia fold flowers and I think a little scrap a little a piece of scrap I can't remember her name um, but I did um, these from Enjoy Stampin um, Robin she did a tutorial a while ago and this is I decided to make some more of these and I just stickled and add a button just really simple and flat so that way I can add it to whatever I want. Here's another one. This time I didn't alternate like I did here. Then I did this one in that color and it's all stickled and I did edge it with different colors in the background. Um, let's see if I can find her name. A uh, pile of scrap. That's her name. Pile of scrap. She did these flowers. I think similar to this one. At least these ones, at least. And she has a tutorial on how to do these. And I think this is how she did it. I don't know. I wanted to try it and see if I could do it, but it's hard to get them pieced the right way. I mean, as you can see, some of them aren't even. So I had to use tape on some of them, and then the hot glue gun. So there's that set of flowers. And then the other set of flowers that I did were these ones with these papers. Shh. No, cat. Excuse you. Here's some more of the pile of scraps flowers. The Dahlia flowers from Enjoy Stampin'. Robin did. And then just playing around with this one and I just pinched it. And then this one I did, um, I fold in half, and then I fold it in half again, and then I fold in half again to get these triangle shapes. So, I was just playing with this one. I didn't know what I was doing, so I was like, oh, let's fold and see what I can come up with. And that's what I did. Um, uh, the house is doing good. The inspection went well, and um, now we're just waiting for the V8 one to go. Oh, I forgot I did some hanging signs, which two are... Sorry about that. Um, I was telling you about these hanging signs that I made. I got some seam binding. I have lots of old, old seam binding that I've been playing with. So I took some coasters and made some hanging signs. This one says Home Sweet Home. And I just used some cardstock. Um, I don't know what collection it is from because it was a bunch of scraps and stuff. Um, and then I used my Cricut, um, the storybook, to do the words. And I added stickles and I shadowed it, which I used white and then a beige in the background, which kind of doesn't help. But I used some flowers to make it stand out. Um, 
So I've got those. It says home sweet home. And then I did, I wasn't going to back them, but it looks cleaner backed. So I did that and I had them hanging here because it was drying. Um, but I also did this one, which is this nice pretty blue seam binding. This floral. And I got it in the clearance section at Michael's, the um, paper. And I just backed it with cardstock again. Oh, excuse me. Having my morning coffee and doing my my morning stuff, so it's driving me nuts. Um, so I got that, and then I have this. So I'm gonna make some plain ones, and I'm gonna have some words cut out, like home sweet home, live love laugh, um, all kinds of stuff, so I can put on these. Um, but that's what I have so far. So thanks for watching, everyone. And if you um, check out my store and my blog, I have some stuff up there if you're interested. Um, so thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.